life that everything has waviness and everything has bulletiness. But sometimes one property shows up better and sometimes the other dominates. We see things because photons act like little bullets of energy that get absorbed by special molecules in our retinas. But sometimes the waviness of light dominates. One place this happens is when you shine a laser beam onto human hair. In this video we will see the waviness of light that shows up very much like what happens when ocean waves pass an island. Have you ever observed waves in the ocean? Did you notice them adding and subtracting? In this image, waves are passing an island. We can see it in this photo too. What we see are waves curving around the island, converging on the other side, and here, either adding up or subtracting. What happens is that an up part of one wave cancels with the down part of another in some places, but in others, two ups arrive together and the wave gets bigger. This results in the formation of bigger waves or no waves at all. Bigger waves occur when the waves add up and no waves occur when they cancel each other out. Similar phenomena occurs with light. When light takes two alternative paths, patterns of light and dark called interference are produced. Students can conduct an activity using a laser and a strand of hair to observe interference. They need either a red or green laser, a strand of hair and a wooden or cardboard setup to affix the hair and perform the activity. Now let's shine a laser on the strand of hair and observe what happens. The hair is our island. You can see an interference pattern of light and bright fringes. Just like the ocean wave, the laser beam takes two paths around the hair creating an interference pattern. The brighter part represents areas where photons contribute to brighter waves while the darker parts signify areas where photons do not contribute. Another way to understand this is through the maths of arrows. Waves can be represented by little arrows called phases. We won't explain the details, but just think about two ways you can combine arrows. I have two arrows. How can you arrange these arrows to get one plus one equals two? We get one plus one equals zero representing the dark parts of the interference pattern. There is something amazing about this that we can't see in the activity, but it has been done in labs thousands of times. We know that light comes as photons. They travel very fast. So like cars on a freeway, they can be quite far apart when they are traveling fast. It's easy to make the laser so dim that the photons are far apart. Then they are arriving at the hair, just one photon at a time. If you do this, and see where the photons land, they still make the same pattern, just dimmer. For ocean waves, it is real water waves that cancel out. But for photons, the cancelling happens when the photons come one at a time. It is not some photon stuff that is cancelling. It is something else. This is called quantum weirdness. It is this property of photons and everything else in the quantum world this quantum weirdness is really important because it allows quantum computers to solve many things at once. We have taken a journey from water waves to photons to quantum weirdness. I hope this has given you a sense of the amazing and mysterious nature of the world.